All right, guys, Good Boy 13 here, check it out. So we're sitting here in the home office, kind of doing a little after action review, or at least I wanted to share with you my adventure this weekend, shooting the Carolina three gun event. And they have these things every month. Uh, the, the USPSA matches, they have carbine matches. Guys can shoot the carbine or nine millimeter. Uh, an awesome, awesome time. And I will tell you this, our squad was filled with some amazing people. I learned a lot. Uh, made some cool cool friends and relationships. Uh, met one of the reviewers out there. Uh, and I tell you what, man, just an awesome, awesome time. And where it's located, uh, half the, the body of shooters out there were uh, of the special operations type from our uh, beloved Fort Bragg, North Carolina. A place where I basically ran up and down uh, Long Street and Gruber and Nardens and all the other stuff. It was a lot of fun. So in any case... Uh, let's talk about this. Uh, so the ultimate goal for me during this event was to go back into competition and concentrating on one thing, and that was the specifics of uh, procedures, um, fault lines. I wasn't trying to be fast. What I was trying to make sure is that I engaged each one of the targets. I didn't forget about a target, and I was trying... Ultimately, at the end of the day, the goal was to go quickly, but do it clean. When you run a clean stage without any penalties, you're doing good. And I did. I ran five stages clean. The last stage of the day, I pulled a typical KB, and I jumped in the van without clearing the uh, pistol targets that were supposed to be shooting through the van. And uh, But the cool thing about it is that I had a 30-second penalty on that stage and I still placed 30 out of 65 which means and I was told well I cleaned the clock on the long distance thanks to my good friends over there at uh, Primary Arms and Demetri with the ACSS reticle and the 1 to 8 Platinum first focal plane scope. Whew. Boy that was a good one. And the guys at Proof Research and American Trigger Corp. Gotta throw those guys in there. Alright so let's do this. Uh, there were 65 competitors involved in this whole thing. I placed overall 40th out of the 65 uh, in my division, I shot practical, which is TAC Ops and some other areas. Let's see here. I don't even know. I placed 26th out of 47. I would like to give a real good shout out to Jeffrey Yang, who placed second in practical and fifth overall. And also Jim Smith, who is one of the shooters that I've shot with on multiple occasions. Uh, he shoots at Walnut Grove. And he's just an awesome, awesome guy. And he's not an early bird, man. He's an older gentleman. That guy plays second overall. And he was, he was shooting unlimited. But the man knows how to shoot. Okay, so with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and talk about this thing. Let's talk about the first stage of the day. I didn't have a cameraman. And uh, <laughs> I put the camera on the cart and just kind of hoped for the best. Bunch of guys were standing uh, in front of the camera, but you'll get the gist of it. The first part of it, we had to get uh, two to three Sammies. One was a little itty bitty Sammy about that big, probably about 45, 50 yards, and then pretty much ended up being a rifle and shotgun stage. I was trying to also experiment with different things to see how much faster I could run with certain items. And again, this is one of those things. This was a, a fun thing for me to do just to kind of say, okay, I want to run. I know I could probably run pistol here, but let's see what we can do with a shotgun. So anyway, here's that stage one. All right, so stage one we did pretty good with. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and pull that up. I can tell you where I finished 
overall, we'll do the overall thing. Um, stage one, I finished 29th out of the 65. All right, stage two was one of my more favorite stages. This is the one that I uh, actually put out on Instagram, a little short segment. I actually put it on Facebook just to see what all my liberal friends would say. Because <gasps> I was like, oh, let's just do like Joe Biden says. Let's buy a shotgun. Everybody just get a shotgun. I said, all right, fine. I can stick with my shotgun. <laughs> so anyway, here is stage two. All right, so stage two was a mix between shotgun starting off, uh, rifle, and then finish off with a pistol. A lot of people were running 100% pistol and rifle. Uh, some One of the guys just didn't even bother. He went shotgun or, and uh, pistol, and you had to double tap two steels on either end with a pistol or one hit with a rifle. So anyway, on stage two, I actually finished, let's see, uh, 23rd of 65 which I thought was a really good one. I, I literally had a couple little snafus where I was fumbling for the safety on my rifle. Uh, probably could have gone ahead, jumped up into the barriers and cleared the shotgun and done a quad load to get the rest of them. But I was like, let's go ahead and start off with this quad load. Sometimes if you're shooting three gun, they'll allow you to start with the four uh, shells in your hand. So when you start, you can roll it over. I'd also like to point out with the Briley handguard, I don't, I can grab the shotgun anywhere. And I think what we'll do this week is actually do a video on that Briley handguard to show you the advantages of the Briley versus a uh, stock handguard. Okay, so stage three. Stage three, I finished 27th out of 65. I gotta remember what this one was. Okay, this one was basically starting everything on the table with the bolts forward um, and you had to bring your magazines with you uh, nothing could be loaded into the guns which was really cool so the first thing I did pick up the rifle we got a couple paper targets three paper targets on both sides if six and then we had uh, three on a plate rack route far I probably wasted a little bit of time trying to engage those things I didn't turn my optic up enough in my opinion but what I decided to do instead of going to pistol is I went 100% shotgun. I changed to a modified choke, which I probably should have stayed with my improved cylinder. Uh, that would have given me just a little bit more spread, but I wanted to make sure that I, what I was trying to do was clear out the whole row. So there were 18 uh, targets on the plate racks. Uh, you had six uh, steel plates and a clay. Here we go. Yeah, and then pistol. Uh, pistol and them little triangles at that time. By fun, I mean fuck my Fuck it, fuck it! Fuck it, fuck it! Fuck it, fuck it! <laughs> frustrating trying to load all that stuff up man anyway quad loads are fun on that stage i finished 27th out of uh the 65 which i didn't think was too bad 
Uh, consistently, we were finishing in the top 50, which was pretty cool. Um, not sure why. I know it's because of the penalties, but in any case, uh, no penalties on that one. Everything was clean up through stage five, which is what we're going to talk about. Uh, hold on one second. No stage. That was stage. Hold on. Yeah, that was stage three. Stage four. Let's talk about stage four here real quickly. Ah, stage four was really neat. Uh, basically, you had to do a zigzag pattern through a bunch of stuff, hitting a, a bunch of uh, paper targets, its size, and then end up with steels on both sides and then you had to transition shoot a clay which made sure that you had to shoot with a shotgun because you had to engage the clays with a shotgun and then clean the rest of it off with your uh shotgun in that particular uh stage four i finished 23rd out of 65 so let's go ahead and check that out here we go when I came out. are you ready stand by Now, let's talk about stage five. Uh, stage five was a jungle run, all shotguns. Mistakes galore. I didn't have any penalties on that. Ran the stage clean, thanks to my RO. Because <laughs> I did have one steel plate that was hanging way over here on the left-hand side. And he was like, are you sure you're finished? <laughs> are you sure you're uh, finished? <laughs> if you're finished. Anyway, I was like, oh, shit, bam. But anyway, we ran that thing in 6201. Uh, overall, I finished 27th on that stage, which wasn't too bad. Let's check it out. Here we go. Oh, before we get there, uh, the sequence of events. I should have ran quad load uh, right off the uh, after the first initial. I was standing, which is a no-no. You always have to be moving. So I should have just done a quad load instead of a double quad load for the first series. Then double, double quad load. Bang, 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 double quad load. Bang, 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 and finished. Uh, my game plan on that stage, I was getting tired towards the end of the day. And actually, uh, had I ran through the stage six in my mind and actually practiced it, I probably would have run clean through that whole thing. Here is stage five. If you're done, okay. If you're done, I'm all right. Stage five's over. Uh, stage six. Stage six was probably one of my favorites. I love shooting out long, four, five hundred, six hundred yards. Um, I got my rifle dialed in, and it just doesn't matter. We can hit them all day long. Uh, we had a minivan that was parked here, and it was the only one where, uh, like I said, I didn't get it videotaped. We had steels on either side of the van and steels on the other side of the van. You had to engage the steels through the van, not shooting the van, and then jump into the van, go into a prone uh, and engage steels. There were seven steels uh, out. Uh, two were really, three were really close, and then we had 200, 250, 300, 350, and four, relatively close. But anyway, um, I uh, placed number 30 out of that whole thing. 
and uh, on that particular stage, and that's with a 30-second penalty, which really sucks. So anyway, overall, uh, 40 out of 65, not bad. Um, and my and I'm planning on going back. Oh yeah, and I'm going to bring as many people as I can. This place was an incredible, incredible location. Uh, for me, I live in Charlotte, so it's straight up 85, to hang a right on 64, and you go just past Ashboro, and it's on the right-hand side. The stages are really close. The bays are awesome. They've got jungle runs. They've got long-range stuff. So for me, that's a great location to shoot three-gun. It was good to see Jeffrey out there, um, and then uh, also Jim uh, Smith, seeing him. It was awesome, and then meeting all new people. So, guys, that's it. Uh, we've got a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to do another video here showing you, uh, probably come out tomorrow, showing you the stuff that we got coming up. Uh, we're going to be playing with this guy right here. And we've got a uh, little 9mm action. It's going to happen with this guy right here with the uh, Cryptic Coatings 9mm BCG. So we're going to do an analyzing of this thing. Uh, we have this new red dot, which will eventually make its way over to this custom uh, X5 Legion that was customized by a gentleman with the last name of Quest, first name Pops. So I'm really looking forward to uh, putting this thing through its paces because we're setting up for a new event coming up in October, which is going to involve all new firearms. Because you know me, I can't well leave well enough alone. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you're into competition, Three gun is a lot of fun. Any kind of competition shooting is a lot of fun. Just because of the camaraderie, uh, the competition is out there, and it does, and it will help you hone your skills. So uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Uh, if you're always if you're here to the end, I really appreciate it. We always end it like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and have already done so. I'd like to thank, thank Dan the Man, the cameraman. That's my new nickname for him. We're going to uh, all uh, get together and uh, squat up next time. I'm looking forward to getting back out there in August and hopefully bring one of my buddies down from uh, Pennsylvania with me. Scuttleboy32, I am out.